What's up guys, it's Dr. Chris Collier with Elite Chiropractic Performance in Chesterfield, Missouri. So this video for the Prehab Vault is kind of a, a one of those foundational exercises. It's something that can be applied to everything that we do. And it's the, the correct strategy of how we should activate and stabilize our foot. So it's been called different things over the years, like a short foot, but it, nonetheless, it, it's just a, a way for you to think about how your foot engages with the ground, okay? So we always wanna point out that you have what's called a tripod of the foot, which is basically the heel, the base of the first metatarsal or the ball of the foot, and then the base of the fifth metatarsal or the outer part of the foot. In a perfect world, we would load each point equally as our feet are on the ground. Now, those that have flatter feet tend to load more of the inside. Those with higher arches, rigid feet tend to load more on the outside. But the goal is to try to get each point to contact the ground equally, okay? So with the exercise, you're going to first practice this sitting, and then you can progress to standing, and then progress to trying to do it with an actual exercise, like a squat or a deadlift or something like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have foot underneath you just like this, and I'm trying to load each point equally, like that. So what I like to do is after I get the, the each point down on the ground, I raise my toes up and I try to spread them apart. Now, I'm one that's pretty decent at this exercise. Uh, I've, I've worked on this a lot. My dexterity is not bad. And really, the, the goal is to spread toes apart, lay them down like that, okay? From there, you're going to arch the foot up without curling the toes. And that's a common exercise that's given where people like scrunch their toes on a towel or something. It really defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do. So I spread, uh, extend toes up, spread apart, and then I am activating to arch up. And so it's a squeeze of the foot and just viewing it as this part is going towards the ceiling. So the reason why I used to be called a short foot was because the thought was that the short shrinks. Well, if you do it correctly, actually, the foot stays in position like that, okay? So this is a really good way to feel it deep into the bottom of the foot. It's really helpful for heel pain, foot pain, Achilles pain, plantar fasciitis. This is my go-to exercise. So I'm loading each part, spread toes down, bridge up, hold, relax. I'll do probably sets of 20 or so to get that good activation. The other quick little exercise to add to it is where we start to alternate toes or trying to disassociate the toes. So what I'll do, same thing, spread them, put them on the ground. I'm gonna keep my big toe down. I'm gonna raise my outers. And then I'm gonna put those down. I'm gonna raise the big toe. I'm gonna put that down. We're just gonna go back and forth. You get good at it, you can really feel how much you can activate the foot and then feel the ground, okay? So try to work with this. If you're having trouble doing any part of these exercises, use your hands to help give you the feedback. So I might pin my toes down and bring this other hand underneath to arch up. Or if I'm trying to alternate the toes, I'll just hold this down and I'll lift. And don't be afraid to just help yourself out you're trying to get your brain to feel what we're trying to do here and go back and forth. I promise you if you do you know, 20 in each exercise on both feet and then you stand up and walk around, you're gonna feel a whole different world underneath of your feet. And part of the problem is it's at a young age we're, we're gifted with really comfortable shoes and we, we lose this ability to, to activate the foot correctly. So this is an absolute game changer for foot pain, plantar fasciitis, ankle sprains, uh, working the foot all the way up the chain. It's a good strategy to do. It's easy to do. You can do it in your own, in your shoes if you're sitting at work and then try to incorporate it into your uh, exercise routine, okay? So we call it the, just the proper way to activate the foot or the short foot. Uh, if you have any questions, leave us a message. If not, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.